All right, let's go, folks. Um, today, we're going to be taking a look at Reddit once again. But this time, I have a different set of categories that I've selected for you all. And most of these videos are mind blown. So let's start with this one over here. I mean, this is something that I, I don't know why lately it has been trending. This is a trick uh magicians and performers are doing and this is this is just amazing as you watch of course it seems like a normal trick or something that almost anyone can do and uh, i don't know if you know this michael jackson move right now that he's doing it's actually a pair of nails that he has on the floor look at that he's just deattaching his feet from the nails it's a very good trick a lot of people still to, to, to today don't know how this is done and magicians try to well remain remain this as secret as possible, you know. But as you look right now, he is uh, actually going for almost impossible tricks, and that was amazing. That was amazing. In this case over here, houseplant magic. This is a time lapse. As you see, it can amaze anyone because I don't know if you know this, but plants are alive. I know they seem that they're not when you look at them, but they are and they move according to the sun, the moonlight, some say gravity and well, it's that's about it, but it's, it's as magic as it can get. Now about this over here as Skittles, I have no clue how this is done, I mean I will try this at home, but as you can see this is really simple, right? You just put the Skittles together, all together, right, a different set of colors. You throw water into a bucket, you know, make sure that it's all uh, in the same place. That's it. That's what happens. You know, this is incredible. I've never tried this before. I never even thought about it. And how ridiculous, right? <laughs> this is, I mean, I've, I've shown you guys this uh, one, I believe, in my other channel. But um, still amazes me till today. I mean, I have no clue how this guy is doing this, if this is real magic or not. I mean, and yeah, it is possible that there is real magic out there. Just don't know if this is what's, what that guy is doing over there. Now here, <laughs> Here we, I can't explain this. What is that? I mean, if you just pay attention to what's going on here, what the heck is that? The guy moved the truck. I mean, even if the truck isn't full. I, I, was, I was talking about real magic, right? Real magic not or not. What is that, man? If this guy isn't Superman, what is that? That can't be real. There's no audio. I mean, like, what is going on here? He just moved a truck with his bare hands. What the hell, you know? That can't be real. It has to be some sort of trick there, right? And um, here, you got the black fluid, right? A lot of people call this black goo, whatever. In this case, it's ferrofluid. And it is amazing. I, I got to tell you that, it is amazing. This is, it is attracted to iron, right? It's magnetic. And in this case, it's just amazing how this is happening, how this is done, how this is, how it is programmed, whatever is going on here. I mean, like, what? Uh, it, is, can it be used in the future for biotechnology? It probably will. It probably will. And a lot of people have talked about shadow people, hat man, whatever, you know, looking like a ferrofluid, I don't know. Got to do in the future, probably will have a lot to do with this technology, whatever. Uh, color changing candle, nope, nope, nope. Uh, well, here we got the world's first man hover bike. This is something I thought in 1999 would be ready. I thought that in 1999 people would be riding flying cars. Leave a comment if you thought that also, you know, like by 2010, I, I 2010, oh my gosh, 2010. I thought that people would be, would be riding flying motorbikes, anti-gravity ships and all that. And no, no, that's not what was happening. We're still using uh, 
old dated technology from the 80s, 70s, 60s, 40s, maybe even before. This is still amazes me how that that happens. But I guess this is better maybe for humanity. Imagine a bunch of people flying around, you know, falling down in buildings and houses. It's, it wouldn't be nice, right? And um, so I don't know what you think about that. Leave a comment. You know. uh, let's see if I can find a very interesting one here. You get a, a bottle of water, right? A normal bottle of water. I don't know if this is. Oh right, it's almost, and he's gonna shake it. It's gonna freeze, right? I guess the trick here is that this uh, this bottle of water was in the freezer for like a really long time, and it's basically frozen. You know, it's just a question of matter. Let's just put it like that. And then he shakes it; it freezes. Happens with me when I put uh, refrigerator. Um, how do you say that? Sodas on the refrigerator, on the freezer, and all that. You know. This is a warm whisper. I guess, what the heck is going on? This is what the heck is going on here, right? Look at that. I mean, like, he's doing something with it, and all of a sudden, a bunch of worms just come out and go in. What? 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 We're talking about a bunch of worms. Look at that. I mean, he could have just sat him there. Somehow, you know, just put the worms there in the middle of the, the woods, whatever, where wherever he is, and just pretend he is being a worm whisperer. But I guess if we go into the comment section, someone will have an answer. Let's check this out. It's not working for me. Neighbors are looking at me like crazy. <laughs> so, guy with card has some magic going on. Again, no audio. What the heck? Let me see if I can. Okay, what? He's not picking it. What? Look at that. He's putting the card. In. Oh, right. I think I know how he's doing that. This is a special magic blanket. Whatever it is he's doing here, he's actually putting the cards here in a way that it seems that they disappear for the cameraman. I don't think that the guy sitting next to him is able is, is seeing the same thing. He's probably seeing the cards, right? We aren't seeing the cards. Robert Harbins, transparent man. The middle of the ninja has disappeared and you can see the light shining through her. And to prove it's not just a reflection, I can put my hand behind her in front of the box and you can see the silhouette of my hand. It's absolutely fascinating. And just goes to show. The what? How are they doing that? No audio, also. That is amazing. That is simply amazing. I don't know how they do it. If there's like, I guess there's some sort of. How the heck is that? Doing? I mean, like, if you observe this, all right. The woman is actually appearing out of nowhere, like as if she's coming. If you look, it's coming from top to bottom. She's not appearing from bottom to top, whereas, uh, in other words, right, there is no hatch, there is no place she's coming from below. There's no secret door, unless, of course, the chair is a secret door, unless, of course, she is inside the chair. Now, if you look again, I just saw this, right? If you look again, the chair seems to move right here, right now. Now, you see that, but I'm not too sure, though. This is amazing. How the heck is that happening? Uh, this is again the hand trick. It's been going viral. Look at that. If you do it really well, it seems as if your hand is going through the other one. I'm gonna pause it at the exact time. All right. So here, he just excha exchanges his hand. He stops one hand, and he's, you know, he, he do he's doing this, and then he, right, the illu illusion, right, illusion that the hand is coming, and then he continues with this one. Of course, I'm gonna have to train that as I'll try to do that one day. I would have to train like a really lot, but it's like he's doing and he continues with the other one. It's illusion, it's like the illusion. Um, this one here, ball lightning passing in front of a cloud. What the heck is that? Lately, a lot of people have been reporting seeing things in the sky. 
and I don't know why, you know, this is happening so much lately. It's been going crazy. Oh, people are seeing also Starlink. They're confusing Starlink for uh, for unidentified objects, right, in the sky. Uh, here we got a very interesting video. This guy is putting, is touching grass, a leaf onto a radio signal in Russia into one of those radioactive whatever I don't know I'm not too sure if I'm saying this correctly but I understand that uh, this is dangerous this is somehow dangerous to do I've been reading about it don't do it you see that you can actually hear the radio playing through the plant through, through the, 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 the leaf whatever he's holding there You see, this isn't a healthy thing to do. The same thing here, let's check this out. Kilowatt tower. PM tower, 15 kilowatt tower. See, this tower, like this one also, both these towers are protected by a fence. In other words, don't go into this area. PM tower, these guys are brave. Tower. And basically what it is, is the tower itself is the, uh, the, the whole underground is the dish, and the tower itself is the feed horn. So when you remove these right here, it's basically electrical current that's running through these. So we're just going to take this one off right here. Okay, so this is the kind of thing that makes me wonder about techno communication technology nowadays. How to catch a fish in five seconds. Let's check this out. It has audio again. Now you catch a fish. <laughs> Yo, that was wild. Woo. That's how you catch a fish. Wonder why? Ah, oh, well, I'm ashamed. What is this? Wonder why? I wonder why? Ah, oh, well, I'm ashamed. From nine to ninety-nine, too. We've got to undo the edge of the tube. Out comes this extraordinary device. A very elegant silver coil. Well, it's joined in the middle. Well, the idea is to try and separate them. They just pull them apart. So they should just pull apart and separate. So put the finger there, finger there, and pull it gently. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Here they come. And it'll, it'll, oh, it's supposed to drop off at the end. No, it's not going to drop. And what is happening here? All I'm doing is pulling them apart, and they won't come apart. Oh, that's bizarre, isn't it? Well, that's a magic trick. They appear to be unraveling. Yeah, I believe this is because it's interconnected. It's, it's like doing this, it's a, it's a circle, and, and it's, it appears to be flat. That's what I, you know, uh, you know what I mean? Like, this is what I believe is happening. Oh my gosh. I swear to God, if this is one of those animal catching videos, Is that what the heck is that? Oh, so this is how you make clouds, right? So three tooth toothbrushes, what toothpaste, right? Coca Cola, and oh, something he doesn't want to tell. What the heck is that? My gosh. And he has a camera probably playing, uh, taping in slow motion. Seems like I saw a face there. <laughs> My gosh, it goes off. I mean, like, what is this secret potion, right? Like, this is fireworks, right? I believe I remembered this video. Run, people, run. Oh my gosh. This thing hatched in my blue bottle, fly culture. What is this? What is this, right? I don't know. 
In this case here, we got nature, the power of nature breaking into a road. Again, no audio. And it's, it's amazing. It's simply amazing how nature can, let's just put it like this, redo itself if necessary, right? I believe this, uh, in a matter of years, maybe 10 years or maybe less, if humans stopped existing, nature would take back its world. This is one of the most amazing time lapse I have ever seen in my life. I mean, like, wow, this is beautiful. This is simply beautiful. Oh, there's more. Wow, man. Wow. That is a good camera and a good time lapse. I mean, like, the colors are so unreal. Wow. Congratulations to the dude who did this. I mean, like, this is really unreal. It's beautiful. This is one of the reasons I love watching these videos. But you can't ever forget to go outside sometimes and just live your life, you know. Tape one of these things yourself, you know, live your life. Look, uh, this is Tarvink. Don't confuse. I mean, like, everybody's seen this. James, I saw a bunch of UFOs, uh, 20, 30 in the sky, in a row, you know, what's going on, you know? It's Tarvink, folks. It's bad, actually, for astronomers. It's bad for people who look at the sky. It's, you know, it's weird, because um, they say these satellites connect to Wi-Fi for a situation. Anyway, look at that. To be a 15-minute worth of fireworks, and it happened in 30 seconds. Of course it is a little bit, well, insane. Oh, yeah. People are gonna start running now. <laughs> yeah, run for it, run. Don't say I didn't warn you. Anyways, here we have a giant fish. I mean, like, this is the one of the things I, I I'm like watching this. I'm thinking, right? So we know nothing about the ocean. Absolutely nothing, nothing about the ocean. I would be amazed to see this one day if I was diving, and I do go diving sometimes. I do enjoy nature many times. And uh, I don't know about you, you should also, if you don't, if you do, leave a comment. But this is, this is one of the things like, wow, wow, look at the size of this fish. It looks as if it's gonna swallow <laughs> entire person. This is amazing. Um, this is someone, I, I thought at first it was a person, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's gonna fall. You know? No, it isn't. Let me just play it again. It's a drone. This is, of course, thank you for drones, my big thanks for drones existing out there. I mean, like, this is one of the few videos that I would, I would say, thank you, drones. This is amazing. I hate it when my neighbor has a drone above my house or when, you know, they start saying that authorities are going to start using drones to pursue us. Uh, you know, this is the kind of thing that doesn't make me happy about drones. Uh, the underside of a crashing wave. This is simply amazing. It's beautiful. Again, nature exceeds itself. And I would give nature a 10 and I would give technology a big zero. Because in the end, and again, technology. Technology. Are you guys ready? I'm happy with our new overall, which is the title All Hail Bender the Great. <laughs> I mean, come on, The Simpsons did predict a lot of things. And they got Futurama, right? I guess, you know, it's funny because everybody talks about The Simpsons predicting things in the future. And when you start to think about it, the next show that they actually went on and did was Futurama. I don't know if this is the correct name for the show, but I guess it is. And it talks about the future, right? So there's something strange about The Simpsons predicting the future so much and so well. And then they do a show called Futurama. I mean, like, what? Do they have a time machine? Or do they just have someone who can remote control very well? Some kind of guru, you know, like, this is amazing, isn't it? The technology is that, folks. That's, that's, 
we're going to have for the future. Probably we're going to have these kind of things watching over us. Maybe in a good way, maybe not. I don't know, you'll be a comment. A robot than a hummingbird itself, you know. But this is what makes me crazy because I'm like, guys, the bees. Bees are important, right? Nature is important. Let's, let's recycle plastic from the oceans. And the, the, the companies are like, no, let's forget about the bees and let's do robotic bees. This is the only advice we'll give for these companies that are making robotic bees. Do not use windows or, you know, never, ever. This is an oil rig stormy sea. Amazing. I guess there is audio. Wow, yeah. Look at that. I mean, like, wow, again, nature. I'm wowed by it. There is no comparison. A hummingbird robot. Yeah, sure. Nice. Nature. Look at that. One wave would push all the technology you guys built. And that's it for today, folks. I mean, like, come on. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Tell all your family and friends about it. Come over, subscribe, leave a notification, you know, check the notification bell. Make sure you got it on for all videos and all notifications because now you got like a set of notification bells, you know. You got to click the bell, click this and that and that and that. It's a bunch of clicking. And uh, I'll see you guys again.